school told you to make a video. About what? Any game. Not gonna lie, when my teacher said we could talk about any game we wanted, this game instantly came to my mind. Halo was a huge part of my childhood, like we're talking massive part. So when I played Halo 3 ODST for the first time, man it was, it was something. I even tried beating it again on Legendary on stream, which ended as you expected. Ah! To be fair, this is not a review. More of, uh, my teacher told me to make an essay about gameplay loops and I don't want to sit down for 5 hours writing an essay that will eventually get lost in my Google Drive. So let's find out why Halo 3 ODST's gameplay loops are so fucking good. The first few minutes, or hours, if you're playing on Legendary, you're introduced to the first gameplay loop. This is what I like to call the detective loop. The first character you play as in Halo ODST is the rookie. The rookie's whole story was that his orbital drop pod crashed and he's been knocked out for 6 hours, so you have to find out where your squad went. This is where the so-called detective loop kicks in. You explore New Mombasa, fight off Covenant patrols, and find relics that tell the story that the rookie is piecing together. The reason why the gameplay loop never gets boring is because of the masterfully crafted atmosphere and soundtrack that complements the overall vibe of the ruined city New Mombasa is giving. But enough of the detective loop. I think this is a great time to transition into the- Well, the title of this loop is kinda lying, because I'm not talking about the story of Halo ODST, but the story the rookie is piecing together with the relics he found in the detective loop, each telling a different story while making us play as different members from Alpha 9. Finding Dare's helmet lets you play as Buck trying to save Dare who's stuck in her drop pod and eventually reuniting with Romeo. The drone cam brings you back to Dutch linking up with Mickey to destroy a bridge to give them a bit of breathing room as they defend an Oni base from Covenant forces. I say defend lightly and Romeo's old sniper he used to bonk you awake with in the beginning of the game shows him getting gaggle fucked by a brute chief that these contrasts with the lonely and isolated atmosphere of New Mombasa with the loud and chaotic atmosphere we're all familiar with in the franchise. So a uh, funny story, I was gonna make a paragraph about all these loops but I decided not to because I literally procrastinated this assignment slash video to all hell. You can go around Duma Boss and find these audio recordings that tell the story of Sadie and Sa, who's trying to find her way out of Duma Mombasa to reunite with her father. Nothing groundbreaking really, just something to break the silent air of Duma Mombasa. I personally don't like Halo ODST's firefight mode because it's kinda repetitive. You go around shooting bad guys for 20 minutes only being rewarded with some extra lives and XP. Just play Halo Reach firefight, that is infinitely better. Halo 3 ODST's combat is diverse. You get the moderately paced firefights that keep things interesting in the night city of New Mombasa, to the high octane vehicle combat in the uplift nature reserve, to the downright fucked up defense of their UNSC rally point. Halo 3 ODST's customization is kinda lacking. You're only limited to skins from the characters from the campaign, and the voices? The voices are pretty neat, 